All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a hint as to who our special guest is on our next show. Yep, that's an iguana, if you didn't see it. Where is he? Guys, special guest on Watch Your Lip. It's Iguana Man. Man, this is gonna sound crazy, but today we were actually fly fishing for iguanas. <laughs> yeah. Spillway snuck. Hey guys, David Fine and Little Miss Sophia from here from Watch Your Lip. We are at Secret Spot yeah. B. I think that's where it is. Secret Spot B, because we got Secret Spot B, A, B, C, and D. Right. I think and E. I think we're at Secret Spot B. Got Sophie, you caught a beautiful snook the other day. I did. It was, yeah, it was. It was beautiful. Yeah. So you haven't caught a snook like that in a while, right? No, I've only caught, that's my second one. Third snook, you got three. Yeah, one on the beach, one at Daryl's Bridge, and that one. So, Sophie, do you think it's time to give your brother a chance? <laughs> I think we're gonna get hooked up today. We're here with Raj the Iguana Man. What's happening, guys? We're fishing, and guys, we're gonna go rip some lips. So, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like, hit the bell. Sophie, is that is that sufficient? If they subscribe, hit the bell, is that sufficient I think, for you? I think, I think that is. That's sufficient? Are you good with that? Okay, yeah. let's get Lorenzo a fish because I think he was a little jealous. Watch your lip! <laughs> I'll edit that in somehow. Yeah, yeah. Hey. How does that feel? All right, guys, in this video, Lorenzo here is going to impress you because from start to finish, literally this kid catches all the own, his own bait, baits his own hook, casts the bait out himself at the spillway, and catches a slob snook, like lands it all himself. Literally, it's one of the first time, I think it's the first time I did not help him not this much. The only thing that I did was drive him over to the spillway, which he can't do yet legally. So, uh, Lorenzo, buddy, proud of you, man. Guys, check this out. Watch my boy start to finish. He's 10 years old. Imagine when this kid gets a driver's license. That would be kind of scary, but he'll be, he'll be doing good stuff, man. Check this out. Watch Lorenzo slay this snook. I'm from work. Oh, and Lorenzo's out here. You have a huge surprise for me. When you go to the spill, what? Looks like Lorenzo's trying to catch bait. Are you catching bait right there? Yeah, Simon, there's so many shiners. What? Come look, look. Are you serious? You, you Dude, hold on. You're trying to tell me you have shiners in here? I so many. Oh, they're massive. Massive. Dude. Tarpon and snooks. Tarpon and snook bait. Yeah, come Lorenzo, come on, come on. you caught all those right here? Okay, hold on a second. You see him? You're starting I to come. see him. Okay, guys, look. Those are all shiners. Look. Wow. Okay, I see him. Lorenzo's catching big, massive shiners, guys. These are like these are no small critters. These are big boys. So, Lorenzo, let me see. Let me see you catch one on a rod and reel. It's so they're so wimpy, though. Oh, they are wimpy. Well, that's kind of why the kind of why the fish like to eat them. How many do you have uh, that you More caught? More than a dozen. More than a dozen. Easily. I okay. caught some bluegill and, and some shiners. Bluegills and shiners. Oh. Well, Dude. Some of them are really small. Here at Secret Spot, and yeah. as we pull up, look who's here. Hey. It's Raj the Iguana Man. <laughs> What's up, what's up? Raj, wait, what are you doing here, bro? Man, this is gonna sound crazy, but today we were actually fly fishing for iguanas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me about that. Like, do you have like a, a fly that you tie and they eat it, or is it more like? Well, we're just like like the traditional like like whipping it, getting the lasso <laughs> around them, and then setting it, and then they're just going and peeling and drag, and we're just fighting them. Raj, you're a trip, man. Yeah. It's hey, hey, I'm glad you got it, man. You got fly fly rods and everything, yep, man. Yeah, we're all we got fly rods. We got everything to get those iguanas. Dude, awesome. So, dude, tell me about what, what do you think about this whole Corona thing, man? What's your what's your take on it? Uh, it's 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 a little crazy. 
Um, hopefully, you know, we can get through this. Hopefully, so, like, every, it, it's not as crazy or as bad as people were making it seem. Right. But at the same time, you never know. But um, hopefully, we are able to adapt and get past it. And right. everybody will be good for the most part. That's my whole thing on it. That's good, man. We're praying for the best, man, yep, are we? Yep, yep. All right. Yep. Well, hey, Raj, good to see you, buddy. You're going to, uh, hey, guys, seriously, you got to check out Raj. Raj the Iguana Man. Right? Iguana Man. Yep, yep. The Iguana, right man. Right Iguana Man. Bro. Flesh, Iguana Man is blowing it up on YouTube and Instagram. Check him out. Ready? Come pick your weapon. Sophie, pick your weapon. I choose you. You're armed for battle. You're armed for well, battle? You like pick your weapon. Alright, come here. Let me get you a bait, each of you. These are some gnarly hooks. Perfect. Uh, wait, seriously? Yep. Make sure your drag is fairly loose, son. Yeah, it's loose. Okay. Got, uh... It's really loose. Guys, look at the size of the shiner. Guys, this is like a seven inch shiner right here. Lorenzo caught these while I was at work. This is what we're using for bait today, a secret spot. Guys, do you think a snook would like that? Come on, baby. That's snook candy right there. I'm gonna put them out right now. Okay, you guys ready? Can I have it? No. Are you recording? Yeah. No. What? Help on a guard. Look at that. Wait, I have to get Okay, uh, dude Perdick has a problem with the log of death. The, <laughs> the log of death got you, didn't he? Dang, man. He just keeps on coming. Papa, you know what I noticed? What happened? Since we have online Log. school now because of Corona, we so, don't have to deal with the cones of death anymore. Oh, no cones of death, no yeah. No cones of death. So we have the log of death, which is over there which is now just claimed another victim, uh, Eric Purdick. Hate the log of death. And we have cones of death at the school. Yeah. If we don't get to the, the drop-off line by... by 8.50. 8, no, no, 7.50. 7.50. Uh, this lady, this very nice lady, comes in and puts the cones of death up and makes us park way out in the middle of nowhere to walk, have to walk. So, yeah. Um, that's not good. But, Sophie, you guys actually start... Online school. Online tomorrow. school. So our CCA literally converted to an online school in like four days. Yeah, that's impressive. That's impressive. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it actually goes down. Are you ready for online school? I'm actually very excited that I get to stay in my bed for one more hour. Yeah. And not having to go to wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited to sleep in till 7. Oh, well, don't get too excited. Lorenzo, I'm on the other side. You're good. Just get it in the middle there. Come on, buddy boy. Lorenzo, Lorenzo loves to cast over the top of that concrete. I don't know what, yeah. Oh, that was on mine. That was on mine. Come on, Lorenzo. Thank God, I finally, on, do you see mine? I don't see it. I heard it. My, my bait is freaking out. Oh, you hear that? That was mine. All right, Lorenzo's on? All right, easy. Just, okay, you, just, you gotta let him go. Let him go. Wow! Hey, you lost that It's a right. snug! Right, Let's Lorenzo. go! Lorenzo's got easy, nice and easy, son. It's a huge snook! The uh, nice and easy. I see the face! Nice and easy. You gotta finesse him. Yeah, look at how I'm reeling my rod in. Let's go! You got it, buddy. Should I put in the, put up this lat? Just you gotta let him nice and easy, buddy boy. That's a 40 inch! 
Roger. Nah. No, that's not 40, but that's close. That's Should I put it? Wait. All right. <laughs> 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 Did you see that? Oh, did you see that? He's not that big. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Oh, get him up. Yeah! Spillway snuck. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go! He wasn't dude, dude, even hooked. He wasn't even hooked. The hook just came right out. Lorenzo, congratulations, man. Let me, let me take that from you. Let me take that from you. Come on up here. Let's, let's get some pictures. Awesome. Lorenzo, how does that feel? Hold them up, buddy. Hold them up over your head, man. How does that feel? Oh, Gosh, that's awesome. Sophia, what do you think, girl? So worth catching bait today. Oh, Lorenzo caught bait all day today, and it is worth it because he just nailed his nice snook. Whoa. He is 26, about 26. Yeah, so I was an inch off. Let's go get him a release, go get a release going. Get it, go down on this rock right here. Oh. Here, am, you film. You filming? That's part of the deal. Dude, perfect. That is hamburger bun snook number 36. Number 36, baby. Guys, we're at number 36. Hey, Raj. Bro, you just missed the snook, man. Literally, Raj, what's up, man? You just missed the snook, bro. Not perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Show the video. I'll see the video, no problem. Dude, it, it's coming, man. Is he on? Fish on for Perdick. Oh, baby. We're finally gonna get one on film. Dude Perdick showing us how to do it with the little man. He came off, bro. I think he came off. He's young and hungry though, baby. Come on, get him back out. You got another one? Lorenzo, catch, catch his bait, dude. Because we are out of bait. All those beautiful shiners that you caught us were out. He was ready, bro. That kid, that little kid right there loves to fish, dude. <laughs> that little kid right over there, he, he, just, he just loves to fish, man. Gotta love little Michael. Look at him following Eric around like, like, uh, <laughs> Eric, that's your little disciple right there, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. We're hitting who? Something's biting you, so? Yeah. All right. Well, if you, if you start hooking up and I actually have this on film, that's awesome. But guys, this is time for our pandemic fishing report. I wanted to give a shout out to George Leal and Joel Sonnenberg, who took their kids out to the Everglades. And uh, sorry, there's like fish hitting over here. <laughs> And, and actually took them out to the Everglades and got all their kids on some bass. Uh, guys, yeah, we're being careful. We're doing the whole social distance, you know, thing. Uh, we're, we're being safe, but at the same time, we're not cooping ourselves in our houses. We're gonna stay healthy. And George, and George Leal and Joel Sonnenberg, shout out to you for being awesome, taking your kids fishing, showing them what's up. Guys, also in the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 12, it reminds us of when tough times are going, that God, is our sure foundation so we got to uh, just rely on him for during this time we got to be salt and light we got to make sure that people 
uh, know that um, that we're there for them. So TP challenge, guys. TP challenge. Everybody that hoarding to toilet paper, take a selfie of yourself with a, a roll of toilet paper, giving it to somebody else and send it to me because that will make Watch Your Lip for sure. Got to be salt and light, be a blessing to other people. All right, guys, let's get back to the fishing. Lorenzo, what'd you just catch? A nice mine. Mine cichlid? Yeah. Some kind of cichlid, right? That's mine. I, I think that's some other kind of cichlid, actually. Do, do you know the species on that, Raj? It looks like a, it looks like a juvenile mine. Is it a juvenile mine? Yeah. It looks like some yeah. good bait, though. Yeah, I think that's bait right there. I think he, I think he goes in the pot, Lorenzo. Yeah. Bait, dude. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. You score big. You Empty will. buckets? You will. All right. Well, we got three baits out, so. Well, hopefully you'll have a uh, spillway all to yourself, man. Fist or pump it. Virtual fist up. pump. Boom. Yeah. That's a Corona fist pump right there, Corona baby. Fist Corona fist pump. What do you got? Oh, bait? Yeah. Bait? Okay, Sophie's got a nice big bluegill. Sophie, what do you think? Is that going to get you a snook or what? I hope so. Hope so? Raj, does that look like a snook candy? Yep. Hopes are high. Come on, man. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that Lorenzo has gone his revenge on me, and I know, but I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back. Competitive kids. Yes. <laughs> Raj, what do you think about this com competition between siblings here? Yeah, I think it's a healthy competition. Brother and sister going at it. Who can get the fish? The fish one. <laughs> Sophie spoke first. Lorenzo came back with the rebuttal, with the answer. Now we're going to see who catches the next big fish. Comment down below. Yes. Who's gonna get it, man? Who's the gonna older, get it? The older sibling always wins. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Raj, what do you say, man? I say, you guys, subscribe. You guys, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on. All right. Like this video. Comment your favorite part, and also, who's gonna catch the next biggest fish? It's gonna be Sophie, Renzo. That's <laughs> before we go. One more thing. Watch, Watch your lip. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that in somehow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. Raj, God bless, man. Take care, man. Okay, Poppy, look at the beginning of this book. Chapter 2, The Snook. Sancho Pumas and Decimales. Come on, the common snook name. Wow. Out of every single book, I would not... Well, she's a snook book. But I've been reading this... And finally, I got to the center points in decimalis.